Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is the full month of January 2022 love and general situationship tarot reading session for you Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, it is for the Libra friends out there. What can I get for Libra, please? What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Libra. This is for the full month of January 2022. Let us see what's coming towards you in love and general situationship, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for everything that you do, you, 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 you're doing with my channel. Thank you. I hope this content is serving its purpose to you. And if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This is for you, Libra. Let's see what's coming towards you. This is full month of January 2022. What is the message in love and general situation for you? Libra, here you go. What can I get for Libra, please? Here you go. Okay. Let me just check the camera. Okay. All right. Here you go. Okay. Okay, all right. So you started off with a two of pentacles, a six of cups in reverse, and a ten of pentacles. For some of you guys, I feel like you're dealing with an ex or you're waiting for an ex to come back to you. Okay, this is very specific. Um, you've got an ex, you're waiting for them. Um, I feel like this ex of yours, okay, um, I don't know, maybe they're traveling, they're moving, they're very busy. You can't really force them. You know, you can really just influence them to, like, if you send them already a message, that's it. That's about it, you know. Um, I'm really getting in here, the reading, Libra, that the more you chase, the more this person walk away or the more they play Cupid. So if you've got an ex and you're interested to kind of reconcile with this ex of yours or, like, in, in this reading, you're wanting this it, for some of you, it could be a person you dated on and off. But what I'm getting in here is that if you want this person to give you an attention, it's the reverse psychology. If you do not chase them, if you do not initiate, that is where you get their attention. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like a reverse psychology. Ignore them. You'll get their attention. Because I feel like you're manifesting them to, you're manifesting them to call and they haven't called you. When you manifest, it should always come from an energy of abundance, gratitude, and there should be no pressure, okay? If there is a pressure in your manifestation, then it might not occur because it's not in the higher level of vibration. You know, it's, in, it's not in the highest good. So, you know, if there is a pressure in your manifestation, it wouldn't work. So in here, for some of you guys who's a little bit frustrated because you're not getting that attention, that reply, that respond, like you're quite stressed out, Ten of Pentacles, reverse psychology. Ignore, you'll get it. Okay? Hope it makes sense. Okay. All right. Now, moving on, you've got the Six of Pentacles, you've got the Four of Wands, you've got the Devil card in here. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe you are you have some sort of issue when it comes to money or you're trying to really save more money. Like you're maybe this holiday, uh, you know, Christmas or New Year, you have splurged a little bit and you're trying to check how you will manage in the next couple of months for some of you. Um, four of Wands, the Devil card. Oof. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, okay? So, for some of you, you know, I've been looking at your chart, Libra. I have a Libra on. I have, Lib I have a Libra on my chart. And I'm looking at the eclipses. And you are one of those signs that has a lot of e eclipses. So, careful in terms of spending money, okay? Make sure that you always have a, um, what do you call this? Because there's, the, there's a devil card in here. You might max out your credit card. Okay, this is money. It's reminding you it's the first month of 2022. Be very professional and diligent and be very, how do I say this? Uh, make sure that you spend the money wisely or 
don't buy repetitive stuff you know buy buy or spend essentials uh there's something that you need to be watchful in terms of your spending money because you might get i don't know an issue with okay i don't have money then i'll go for a credit card in the credit card it has a lot of interest or maybe you'll go for a loan you know those card sharks so careful on spending your money relating to travel or like make sure that you have a budget like if you want to reward yourself with buying something or travel make sure that you have a budget for that because you might go negative or i don't know maybe there's some challenge about money and you might resort to credit card so just be watchful okay and then the next reading is you've got a tower card the hierophant card the six of wands okay i feel like there was an there is an offer i feel like this offer it's been pending since 2021 it could be relating to acquiring a house it could be an abroad an offer abroad or to move abroad six of wands i feel like if you in January 2022, you're looking into reopening and trying again. Um, yeah. Ooh, okay. All right. This is good. So, there was something around the month of May and June. And for some of you, October, November. Uh, there was an offer abroad or work. Um, I feel like you've kind of given up on this. But in Feb... Sorry. Maybe Feb, yeah. In January, so January 2022 and February 2022, you will be getting a lot of signs and synchronicity uh, from your guide, from your intuition telling you, hey, Libra, try again this. Try applying for this job or try opening this, you know, this business. There's something that, there's something of last year, 2021. It is a big project. It is, it's a big project. You put a lot of effort on it. However, it didn't work out. January and February, you will hear something regarding that. Or, I don't know, maybe a commercial. Maybe someone will invite you in again. But someone will, something will happen that it will influence you to try and I've clarified it and it's supported by the star card in the ace of wands so you can really try it seems to be you are destined you know like it is in your destiny in your journey to be in this job in this business in this place so if you try again um it is very lucky for you January and February okay look at that I feel like it's better to take the one. I'm 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 hearing the word I choose the the daytime. I don't know, maybe you're traveling, choose the daytime. Okay. Uh for some of you, the logo of letter L, letter L and W and um I don't know, near the water. So I hope it's making sense, but there is a project, there was a big project or some sort of, it was your dream or it was a project, you really want that, like it was your, it was something that you wish to have in 2021 and I feel like it will, you will be able to reopen this wish and it's really in favor of you. For some of you, it could be your wish to have a, you know, a brand new relationship. And I'm seeing end of January going to Feb. If you try to go online dating, you will swipe that. You know, you will be able to swipe the right person for you. Okay. So that is good. Really good. Okay. And then, um, all right. You've got the Ace of Pentacles in here. Wow. Okay. Um, whew, this is an offer abroad. Okay. Or I feel like it came out nowhere. An ace of pentacles. I don't think it's money. It is an opportunity. An offer abroad. Yeah. Oh, they search for you. Someone is searching for you. So, okay. Someone did. Okay. So, I know it. Because it's not money. It doesn't feel like money. So, someone is searching for you, Libra. 
they have not moved on they haven't forgotten you king of swords this person is so regretful that they have given up to you i don't think it's an ex i feel like it's someone you dated it's someone you dated who were not re emotionally they are available to you but their priority is work or other like their priority is about like this person really likes you this person actually dated you or you had some romantic the dynamic of you and this person's really amazing you know and they really made you so happy and you did make them happy however their priority is not romance last year now this person is searching for you and they can now practically have a commitment they can they can commit right now so they will look for you they feel like it's a missed opportunity um they're so mature right now and they will tell you and admit to you that i'm sorry libra i was so immature and i hope that you have not forgotten me i'm sure about my feelings right now i would like to build a dating a getting to know thing with you again and when i said this i saw 11 minutes 11 seconds okay so I feel like you have a brand new-ish love situation coming your way. Look at that. And then two of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is it unexpectedly. So they're just, you know, this person, um, Libra. They're very studious. You find this person not just funny. They are also very smart. So that's the reason why their priority is work and work and career or something to do with stability um you find this verse you find this person very smart um really smart really funny they tick all of the box when it comes to when you think of them they're fun they're also sexy so they turn you on they make you happy so um i feel like it's probably around the end of january going to february that this person will propose when I say propose, it means that they're going to offer you the Ace of Pentacles. Let's start all over again, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, they're going to tell you, I'm feeling lucky, Libra, that this time around it's going to work because I don't have any more responsibility or to-dos. I'm pretty happy with my job, with my more... I'm pretty happy with my job, with my work, so I can really focus on you and me and, you know, the missed opportunity we had last year, Okay. This person is also asking you to be open-minded. So, that's that. And um, so, this is your reading. Thank you, Libra, for your support. Thank you for viewing the channel. And if you would like to further connect with me and further support my channel, I invite you to sign up in our newsletter via the website to get bonus reading, uh, new moon, full moon, and etc. So, you, if you want to be in the know, sign up in our newsletter, okay? So, this is me. Thank you, Libra. It is a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.